Today we're going to look at a high voltage quadrupler circuit. And this is based on a iron core transformer running at 60 hertz. So first off, here is an overview of the uh, transformer. And there are four diodes, since it's a quadrupler. And I have uh, two current limit resistors on the output. Since I'm using this as a charging supply for capacitors, since this is a quadrupler circuit, we uh, center tap the transformer, and one side goes positive and one side goes negative. There is our output capacitor with its center tap connection and our outputs on the end of our current limit resistors. So we, before we get started I'm just going to show you a rectified output without the capacitor. So it's really only half the voltage but we'll get a picture of the uh, arc. So I put a voltmeter on the positive section to the center tap, so we're reading half the total voltage. This is 35 volts in. Forty thousand. There's our input power. I'm hardly really even touching this. I don't want to take it any farther. I just stuck a ruler by this so you get a reference on the uh, size. So what I did next was send the output of the uh, quadrupler to a spark gap set with a five inch gap spacing I now put uh, a uh, external capacitor across the spark gap and we'll fire it up and see how it looks. It's quite loud. So next we're going to charge up this 0.15 microfarad capacitor and see how well the system works. We'll give it a couple of discharges. That's this unit right here.
I just want to point out as I conclude this video, this unit is full of bleeder resistors besides the charging resistors. I have the um, equalizing resistors all across the diode assemblies. I mean this whole unit has a couple of hundred uh, resistors on it as well as equalizing capacitors. So there is a lot of bleed down on this system which does enhance its safety.